Oh man, I keep losing to Tails in the races. This making me real mad. I'm fastest, so I should be winning all the time. Yo, I hear you sound a little annoyed. What's up? Tails keeps winning in our races. Ah, say no more. You want to be able to beat him, right? Yeah. Here, I have some emeralds for you to consume. He doesn't know they're fake. This should help you win the race as it'll transform you. Whoa, that's interesting, but I sure don't care. Okay, if you want to keep losing. Kimmy, I don't feel too good. Uh, I'm going to go get some help. What's happening? I feel so powerful. Tails, where you? It's time for a rematch. Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're going to be making Dark Sonic for free in Roblox in high school. First off, head to the avatar editor and then go to reset, clear appearance and confirm. Where you want to head to next is go to the body section and search for less on the head. And you want to select this one just here and then likewise head to the arms and search for trick just like we've got here. Remember to hit the cog and select both arms for this one and then close that down. And the next one we're gonna to head to is the legs where you wanna search for boy. And normal, hit the cog and select both legs. Looking good so far. And then finally, we wanna look at the torso where you wanna search for bear. Once you select this one here, we should be good to go to move on over to the scaling. So as per usual, bring the head and the upper body width fairly low because we're gonna make this a small but detailed version as we tend to normally do. So if you manage to do some other Sonic tutorials that we've done in the past, you've probably done all of this before and it's gonna look very, very familiar. So as we're going through these, we're now heading over to the upper body height where we're gonna just shrink it just a little bit because it needs to make it obviously be in proportion to what we normally do. And this is gonna be obviously for the overall Dark Sonic. So let's just go through this as you can see me do on screen by bringing the legs further down and make sure to bring the torso low and then we head over to the lower body width. So now what we're going to do is bring the legs to make them quite skinny. Remember to make the lower half of the leg thicker than the top half and then obviously make the feet extra large. So now we're looking good. We're on the final part where we got the lower body height where we're going to then want to bring the foot height just a bit higher and obviously the leg height likewise taller but the middle bit slightly shorter and you're looking good. So now we've done that we're heading over to the first part where we're going to import the top follow this code on screen or copy it from the description below and then likewise we're going to import now the second part which is for the pants. Now if you enter this code you will get what we need and like that we're looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is quickly paint the hands white and I'm going to just point out here I've noticed one of the hands is slightly smaller so we need to correct that a bit later on. So for the first item we're going to import, it's going to be the eye. We're going to use this as the head, as we normally do with these little Sonics. So let's just tidy up this area and then start to move this to be into place. So obviously let's bring it down a bit and move it back more, more to the point because we need to put another item just in front of this as we normally do to add the face texture. So now we've done this and this is looking pretty good. I'm going to go back to the accessories and search for Keb. That's right, we're going to use this good old item that we tend to go to quite often because it works really well. So why change it if it works? And especially for these free ones where we're limited to where we can move bits and obviously apply things too. So we're going to stick with this and just adjust it to be quite flat. And that's now actually looking pretty good. So now I'm going to search the next item, which is Popcat. And we still can't, as a free account, we still can't import or search for the new Sonic face. Otherwise, I'd quite happily use that. So we're going to have to use Popcat just to give a bit of detail on the chin and obviously the lower mouth or face as we normally tend to do with these boat well, as we tend to do with these builds. So now we've done that and that's looking pretty good at this point. Let's add some textures. So for the fa or for the eye, we're going to add this one here which is just a black texture and it's by Vitol, I think is the name. Always helpful. And then likewise we're going to head over to the face which enter this code that you see on screen. And it is done by Nugget6510. Thanks to him, we have a decent face texture. And then to finish off this little bit, we're going to texture of the uh, Popcat to have that kind of beige kind of look, which is by Vidkid TV. So thanks to him, we've got that. And then I just need to slightly readjust the Popcat because I realized I've put it a bit too high and it needs to be a bit lower and angled slightly differently. So that's what we're just doing right here. And I think we're into a good place at this point. So let's leave it there. So now we're going to search for the next item, which is going to be Smile. Now I've used these on some of my previous Sonics to make the mouth because I don't have a texture that actually works 
with what I wanted to. So I'm going to use this to make a big old smile and you'll see how it's going to look very shortly because once we get it into place, we can all apply a texture to it to make it stand out just a bit more than it does at the moment. But if you follow as I do on screen, you will see that we're making this fairly short, oh, very narrow, but also with no depth, which means it's quite flat to the face. And you can see what I'm getting at here. We just slight tweaking to make it fit lovely. And then we're going to apply the texture here, which is going to be this code or copy it from the uh, description below. And it's going to be white by Amar. So now we've done that, I need to actually tweak the mouth because at the moment it's kind of glitching through the chin. So now we've done that, we're going to move over and search for Bunny. And what we want is these ears here. We want two of them to hit the cog, then click the icon, then fin up finally equip. And that will give us two of those which we want or which we need to then amend. So we're heading over to the first one now, which obviously will be the lower ears, I believe. And you want to whack the scale up with almost to the top and in the depth straight to the top. And that's pretty much it, obviously, on that one, which then leads us to the second one, where these are going to be ones that are slightly higher up and they won't be as wide, but you still want to whack the scale up to maximum and the depth and bring the width just a little bit higher or a bit lower, sorry, than what the ones previously were. And we're looking good at this point. So at this point, I'm quite happy. So we're going to minimize that and move to the next one where we're going to actually texture the ears. So use this code here, likewise, copy it below. And it's just going to be black like we used earlier. And you want to do both the bunny ears to this texture. Now that's looking pretty cool so far, if I say so myself. So let's search for the next item, which is tooth. And we need two of these. So equip and obviously click on the icon. And that gives us that. So straight into tuning these items here. It's pretty cool. So this is going to be the center two pieces of the hair on the back of the head. We're going to start with the small one now, which obviously we can't see the uh, adjustments at the moment. But as I am using this off a little guide I've done obviously beforehand, we'll check how it looks very shortly after. And like that, I think it needs to be a bit higher. But otherwise, I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to move to the next one, which is the big one that we can see in front of us which we need to keep obviously in view and at the top of the Sonic's head. So that's what we're going to do just here. And like that, I think I'm pretty happy. So let's add some texture to this, which is going to be the black. So you can just literally copy and paste it as I've done here, which gives us this pretty cool looking Sonic. For the next thing we want to do is to add a bit of detail to the face. So let's search for chicken, which you can probably guess what this is going to be used for by this point of the video. It's obviously going to be used for the nose. And like that, it's fairly straightforward. I mean, I think it's pretty much the same setup as every Sonic video we do with the sliders, because I think the only thing we have to might, we might have to adjust is the nose height. But otherwise, if you follow as I do on screen, you should get it pretty spot on and it should look pretty good as well. So with that being said, let's find, finish this bit up with the texture. Obviously, this is black. So this is the one for that. And then we're going to do an optional step here. You don't have to do this, but I thought it looked pretty cool. So if you search for outline and choose this one here, you get this blue outline at the moment, but we're going to change the color of that because I have seen on some pictures, it's either a white or it's a purple and I've gone with a purple. So this code here by says has kindly given us a very nice looking purple outline. So now we've done the optional part, there is at this point the ears to equip. So we've just found the fox ears and what we want to do is go and position these to actually be on Sonic's head, uh, but kind of in proportion so it looks correct. Now at this point it does look okay, so I'm going to apply the texture and this is the one that I've got thanks to Dimon Dude. And then we're going to head over to the animations where I'm going to use the R15 default walk. And obviously the run of Sonic. So that is my version of Dark Sonic. If you like it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye!